Happening right now in Trumbull County, Occupied Warren, a temporary art exhibit inside a vacant home. 27 First News reporter Nadine Grimley got a sneak peek at the artwork before it was open to the public. She's live in the studio to tell us why this project is unique. Well, Dave and Mandy, since the exhibit is in an abandoned house, it gave the artists a lot of creative freedom and a venue to express their concerns and ideas, knowing that eventually the home and all their hard work will be torn down. The shape and, and the uh, open space in there is, is, was really exciting for me. Youngstown artist Bill Barron was drawn to the crevices in this vacant home on Vine Avenue. So much so, he pictured his work almost instantly. I began to look at those spaces and think about um, other abandoned sites and the relationships between that and this house. He's one of more than 20 artists who turned this abandoned space into a three-story gallery, exploring themes of blight and revitalization and the deeper issues that directly impact the community, like drug addiction and the sex trade. This is a very personal uh, project for a lot of the people involved because it impacts all of us. We've all been impacted one way or another, so it's been a, it's been emotional for I think some of the artists. I'm just absolutely blown away um, the the level of of passion and vision and just all of the different themes um, coming together into one cohesive project. The entire exhibit was done for less than five thousand dollars and paid for through a grant from the Ohio Arts Council. But it's only temporary since the home is slated for demolition. A lot of the works were created on site with the intent of being destroyed with the house when it comes down. I think there's a great opportunity through our area to allow artists to come in and be creative uh, and, and do renew some of these old spaces. Occupied Warren is open until 7 o'clock tonight and runs from noon to 5 tomorrow too. Live in the studio tonight, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.